Okay, now that we've identified all the steps necessary to complete the printed postcards, we can start to lay them out on a timeline to see it visually. Um, but before we can do that, we must say how long each, time, uh, each task is going to take. So if I go through my list, I have decided that um, each step in my process is going to take a portion of a day. Uh, it's a long process. This, the printing uh, of the postcards may take a couple weeks. Um, if you're doing something like changing the oil in your car, it would be based on minutes, not days, because obviously if you have 10 steps in your process to change oil, it's not going to take you 10 days to complete it. But anywho, for the postcard printing, I decide that the designers get five days to print them. Uh, the estimator can have up to three days uh, to create a quote for me to approve. Uh, that's typical. Uh, estimate. Estimates usually take 72 hours to get all of them back. You're not going to send an estimate to one printing company. You'll send it to three or four or five uh, to compare pricing. Uh, then I get one day to look at all the estimates and get them approved on my end. Uh, then I will send final files to the printer the very next day. It might take a fourth of the day for them to upload. The pre-press department might take up to a day to prep them uh, to make sure that all the files are correct and start laying them out. When they're done, they'll make proofs and they'll deliver proofs. Um, I'm going to allow two days for that, even though I think that's a, a little high. Uh, and then I'll take two days to return them. Um, maybe I am, because there are a million postcards, that's a pretty big run. Maybe I'm sending them to, to uh, Cincinnati to be printed and I'm in, in New York City and the transit for the proofs might take a day or two. Um, then the printing company will throw me in a scheduling on the next day and decide when I can be on press. Uh, the company will make plates. They will set up the printing press. Uh, setup of the printing press can take anywhere from one hour to 12 hours depending on the printing press. If you have a very small one color press it might take an hour. If you have a standard four color, maybe even a six color sheet fed printing press it could take four, four hours to set up sometimes. Um, if you're running a huge web press, which is um, printing from rolls of paper, and the run is going to be 12 days long, sometimes it will take up to an entire shift of people just setting the press up and they're not even printing anything. Um, I'm going to say it's going to take three days to print the postcards. Uh, my logic here is that the printing company that I'm going to send it to is only printing on one shift, and so they're not going to be able to just run around the clock and print them. I'll give them the half day to trim the postcards a half day to box the postcards, so all in one day I'd like them to trim and print, uh, trim and box the postcards. And then I'm going to allow five days for transit just to make sure that it gets to Iowa in time for July 16th. So now that we have times, we can work backwards from our deadline and decide what the absolute last day we can start this project is. So if you go along and you say, okay, well, Number 14, we should put in first, and that takes five days. So if it's going to deliver on the 16th, we count back five days and say, well, it has to ship by whatever day is five days before that. So I've gone ahead, and I've gone through every single step of my process, and I, I've numbered them so that you can see them. And I've kind of visually shown you that shipping takes a lot more time than the day it actually delivers. Um, so time in transit is five days, so it will be in transit on the 11th, 12th, the 13th, the 14th, and the 15th to deliver on the 16th. Um, it takes a half day to trim and a half day to box, so I made that an entire day, and I've grouped them together, so on the 10th. And as you go back through, you can count all the different days. So the very last day that I can start this project would be June 22nd, so that I can have delivery by July 16th. Now, if it was me, and this is a real world project, I would try not to wait until June 22nd, because if something goes wrong, in any one of these steps in the process, my job will not be delivered by the deadline. Okay, so what is next? Your homework this week includes um, a terminology homework quiz that's just questions. I do want to emphasize that you need to answer them in your own words. It will ask you what is a turnaround time. Do not copy word from word from the slideshow. The purpose is to regurgitate the information and process it. Um, pretend that you're explaining it to someone who doesn't know what it is and you want to explain it in the most simple way possible. And then your quiz is to do a project that is to recreate one of these timelines. So pick something in your everyday life or in your work life and create
create a timeline that decides how long every step in the process should take and create a visual timeline for that. And when you do the quiz, I do want to emphasize that it's a three-part quiz. One, identify all the steps that are necessary for the process. Two, assign times to each step. And three, create a visual timeline. So if you want to earn all of the points, you must have all three elements present in your final submission.